guests, Jillian Potter and Carol Fabrizio, did I say that correctly? You nailed it. Yeah. Fabrizio, mm -hmm. are the owners of Helm Coffee on Shelby Street in Indy, and they're here to tell us about some of their offerings that you can check out and to give us a taste of their signature summer drink, the Cascara Fizz, which mm. sounds really, really good. Ladies, Hi. how are you doing? Hi. Awesome. Wonderful. Good morning. Yeah, Great good morning to, to you. have you here. Thanks this all us. looks incredible. So we'd love to hear a little bit more about the story behind the name Helm. Yeah. Oh. Sure. Yeah. So we actually had this little logo, the uh -huh. little yeah. H with a circle around it okay. first from a different concept years ago, but we loved it and we knew that we wanted to use it. Okay. So we kept thinking of H words. Yeah. And when we got to Helm, we knew. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because for us, starting this business, moving to Indy, having our kids, all of it has been about being at the helm of our lives. Cool. Ooh, I love that. And that's what we want for people. Yeah. To feel like they're at the helm of their lives. So that's part of why we opened this shop and started this community. So I like great. it. That's great. That's incredible. Yeah, how long have you guys been open? Nine months. Oh my yes. gosh, only nine months? Congratulations. <laughs> yes. That's so exciting. That's great. That Coming up on the awesome. year. Yeah. So for anyone who hasn't been, talk to us about your shop and then let's get into trying a little yeah. something. Yeah, so I think right now we launched um, our nitro cold coffee and what's unique about this coffee is it's snap chilled, which means it's brewed hot okay. and then um, flash cold immediately. So oh. what you get is all the wow. flavors from the coffee when it's brewed hot. That okay. is so cool. So one of the things that we want to highlight in our coffee shop and in our coffee is the terroir of the coffee. So okay. based on the region, the climate, the soil, yeah. we want to really kind of honor what's inherent in that coffee. Okay, bean. all right. So where do some of these coffee beans come from? Mm -hmm. Colombia, okay. Ethiopia, Guatemala. In the can specifically, we have an Ethiopian and a Colombian today. Ooh, nice. Oh, that is awesome. It is cool how you can taste the different notes. I mean, it's just kind of like wine, right? Exactly. The different beans and how they roast yep. it are Nailed different it. from all over the world. Um, what did you bring for us to try today? Which ones are you um, doing? So you want to start off with coffee or cascara? Okay, let's do cascara because we, we were talking about the fizzy drink. Let's do that. Okay, oh, yeah. so cascara is actually the coffee cherry okay. um, on the plant. So the huh. bean actually is held in the cherry on the plant. And we take that and we make it into a tea. You can actually just pop it in your mouth. Really? Right yep. What? It's okay, I want to try one. cherry, it's oh, yeah. herbal. And so we take that oh, cool. um, yeah. and we mm -hmm. add a little sweetener in it. Kind of so like I a can... craisin almost. Oh. Mm -hmm. Kind of got that mm -hmm. kind of, yeah. I know it's a little, it's a little dry. I could have given you a warning on a that. Well, back could yeah. use a little liquid, but look what we got. <laughs> so we got a pump yeah. of a house-made simple syrup. Okay. That's just a one-to-one -one water to sugar ratio. Yeah. Perfect. Gonna put in our cascara tea there. Ooh. And then we'll top it off with some Topo Chico for that right. sparkling oh, yeah. effect. Woo. Topo Chico. Sorry guys. Some party right. now. Oh yeah. Oh, good live TV. Come on. Hey, I love the bubbles. Yeah. So, what else? so you made tea with the almost like the, the husks of the cherries? Correct. Mm -hmm. That is amazing. Wow, that's really cool. I've never even heard of that. I know, I didn't know that that was even possible. It is weird to think like coffee's right, a that fruit. that one's for you. Want to give a shot? Thank you. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Do you want your own? Yeah, let's do All it. Right, Come on now. Yeah, you got Here, to. I'll help you oh, grab Oh, I love this. Right? Go. This is the perfect summer drink. Okay. Oh my goodness, yeah, right. You're doing incredible. Yep, perfect. Yeah. Top up for that Topo Chico. Yeah. Where can people find you if they want to come on in literally today? Where could they go? Yeah, yeah right by Garfield Park on yeah. Shelby. Okay. Um, 2324 Shelby Street. That's nice. perfect. <laughs> so right by Garfield Park. Yeah, there it oh. Is. oh, you got to shake it. Yes, you don't you want to do the explode, so just very shake gentle. It. Like the proverbial oh, Polaroid oh, picture. I was like, I don't think I'm going to do that. I'm sorry, did I do something wrong? Just shake it gentle. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. I've had it explode in my face, so I just the one to avoid that for you. That's really good. Yeah, yes. go check them out. Helm Coffee. Uh, if yes. you use the code Indy now, you get 15% off. HelmCoffeeRoasters.com. Can I take this over here to talk to Andy? Absolutely. Yeah, go ahead. I'm going to go on over here, guys. Andy, yeah. we could bring you a drink, too. Go no, on over there. We'll, we'll give okay. Andy a yeah. Can you prep him one? Yeah, sure. we'll Perfect. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, All right, perfect. it's time for your Smart Money Minute with our good friend Andy Mattingly from Forum Credit Union. He's always giving us great financial wisdom. Andy, how you doing today, man? I'm doing good. Good to see so you. You're doing good. Yeah, I love this. This is really tasty. All right, so we're talking about recession proofing our lives. So don't know necessarily what's going to happen with the economy. Kind of some uncertain times. You're going to help us thrive, though, in these uh, in these times. So what are two easy steps to start recession proofing our lives? Yeah, the first thing is build yourself a budget. And the okay. purpose of the budget is to give yourself a little bit of a guardrail on your spending. 
so that you can also do the second thing, which is start building an emergency fund. Okay. So that if something happens to your income, you have some money there that you can carry, you know, keep going along and not have to have some drastic situations happen. Yeah, how many months would you recommend? Well, thank you. Oh, nice. Thank you, Jillian, delivery girl. Thank you, lovely. Thank you. Um, how, how many months would you recommend someone tries to plan for that goal of the emergency fund? So get to three. And, it, and then six would be your ultimate goal, but okay. three is like you want to get there as fast as you can. Yeah, it just takes a little bit of discipline, yeah, yes. that, that we can do it. Okay, so how does a person's debt factor into building a more resilient financial situation? Well, this is really important, especially as student loans are starting to come back up for some mm -hmm. people. You want to start looking at your loan payments and make sure you can handle all of those. And so loan payments have been, student loans have been deferred for a long time. So people might have crept up a little bit on some of their other payments. So now's the time before they start back, make sure you can handle all those payments. So, yeah. you know, consolidate some loans, things like that. That's a good way to make sure you don't have a problem. Sometimes, I mean, even you got to back up before that though and even get a good financial assessment of where you are. Yes. Sometimes to look yes. at that. Um, yes. Are there any important steps, Andy, when it comes to protecting our income? Yeah, you know, first of all, make yourself very valuable at work. Be multifaceted, right? Yeah. Make sure you're the employee that gets to stay. Uh, well, you know, if there's any layoffs or anything like that. So continue to build your career. The other thing is build your network of okay. people and not just connect with people on LinkedIn, but actually meet with people so they know who you are. So if you need to do something else, you have that opportunity. You have that group of people that you can call. That's good. Yeah, I'm seeing developing some passive income streams yes. too. That's, That's great. That's another important thing. You know, it may be dividends. It may be real estate. It may be that you sell songs and you get royalties from sure. those. All of those things. And then the last one there, monetize your hobby. If you have yeah. something that you love to do, you know, making coffee yeah. and stuff like that. Turn it into a business because that's a great way to make sure that you can recession proof and keep going no matter what happens to the economy. We've had so many people start things over COVID yes. and then now they're on the show promoting exactly. you know, their business or, or brick and mortar shop. What exactly. are some other ways to further recession proof our finances? Well, I think Andy? the other important thing is to think about your credit score because if we really do get into recession, then credit gets a little tighter. And so make sure you're always keeping your credit score up. That means paying things on time, sure. not overextending yourself because you, you know, you may want to need to buy a car, you may want to buy a house later, so you want to get the best deal and to make sure that you can get access to those funds. Plan now, and if you need an expert that you can trust who's can, gonna guide you along in this process, you can go to forumcu.com to find your local forum branch. Give them a follow on Twitter and YouTube as well. Andy, thanks as always, man. Love having Great you here. Great to be here. Yeah, you bet. Hey, still to come, from lessons to community swims, our friends from Indy Parks are gonna tell us what you and your family can enjoy during summer pool season. Plus, we're gonna tell you today's theme for Lyrical Lightning a bit later. We'll be right back, friends. Stick around. Feels like summer. And it feels like summer.